There is fear of a nationwide shortage of the asthma medication albuterol could worsen after a major manufacturer shut down operations. CBS 2's Christina Fan with more on what patients need to know tonight. At St. Barnabas Hospital in the Bronx, doctors are keeping their fingers on the pulse of a growing albuterol shortage. The drug is used to treat breathing problems, and the borough has one of the highest asthma rates in the country. Right now, it's concerning for us, right? We've just come out of the respiratory season, and we're moving into an allergy season, so it is important for us to make sure that we stay on top of our, our medications. Albuterol has been on the FDA's shortage list since last October, but recently Acorn Pharmaceuticals, a major manufacturer, filed for bankruptcy, closing several U.S. facilities. The medication comes in several forms, but only the liquid form used in nebulizers is in short supply. Anytime there's any type of uh, disturbance in the market, you'll see almost a panic purchase. And so people try to stock up to make sure that they have extra. So you always want to stay ahead of the curve. The shortage impacts a very specific dosage generally used in hospitals, but it can be a problem for those who use it at home. Pulmonologist Carrie Coyle says there are alternatives patients can seek. They could try the albuterol inhaler via a spacer device and see if that worked for them as well. The inhaler goes on this side of the chamber and you would squirt the medicine inside. The medicine is now safe inside, captured, and you use this side, the mouthpiece end, to put to your mouth and inhale the medication in. Thanks to pre-planning, doctors at St. Barnabas say their supply remains strong. We will unit dose and prepack just exactly the dose that they need for the patient, and we make sure that there's no waste at all. The FDA says it's actively working to address the shortage. One of the solutions could be temporarily importing from foreign suppliers. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. And doctors say inhalers are just as effective as nebulizers in administering albuterol, and there is no shortage of asthma inhalers.